Now, publishers are tonight raising an alarm over a major impediment to the successful rollout of the new primary school curriculum. That's right. According to the Kenya Publishers Association, learning materials for use by teachers and pupils are yet to be printed, with the government remaining silent on a few, a few months to January 2019. Well, Enoch with that report. The rollout of the new curriculum is already facing challenges with the Kenya Publishers Association now claiming that the Ministry of Education is delaying the process by failing to provide proper guidelines. We are not aware of any steps so far taken by the government to ensure books are available for learners in preschool, preschool 1 and 2, grade 1, 2 and 3. The curriculum was to be rolled out in January this year, but was postponed to allow for more national piloting programs after it emerged that teachers were not prepared. Then, the government had hoped that by January 2019, it should be fully operational in all schools for those in grades 1, 2 and 3. Although it has been a smooth ride for those in private schools, this journey has been bumpy for those in public schools. According to the publishers, many public schools are yet to receive learning materials required for the piloting. You cannot purport to use the same books that were used in the previous curriculum. The previous curriculum was talking about testing. The new one is talking about assessment. The previous curriculum was talking about knowledge and reproducing that knowledge to pass examinations. The new curriculum is talking about skills, attitudes. On several occasions, the government has had to defend itself with regard to the implementation of the new curriculum. No cause for alarm has remained the answer, but questions are yet to disappear. When you review a curriculum, the most important and critical thing is the learning and teaching materials and training of teachers. The Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development, KICD, released a report in May that poked holes in the government's strategy. The report indicated that one in every five teachers was not prepared to implement the system as from next year, majority of them not fully aware of their role. The report stated that only 3% of the teachers said they were very well prepared, while only 20% said they were well prepared. There are 312,060 teachers across the country for both primary and post-primary schools. Apart from concerns that majority of these teachers were not prepared, the Teacher Service Commission, TSC, also raised concerns over the low level of mastery and understanding of subjects by teachers. This latest development could mean a major setback for those heading to the fourth grade next year. We are therefore not in a position to prepare any learning materials for grade four. So our question is, are the children in grade three going to, going to go back to the old curriculum in standard four? That we can't answer.